If you hadn't heard, there's a new condiment in town, and it's called nut salsa. Its true Mexican name is salsa matcha, and it hails from the Veracruz region of Mexico. It's tied to the whole mansion saga that we've all been watching for the last few weeks. Backstory aside, I thought this looked like a really cool dish to try to recreate. So this video may seem a little different than my other videos. We'll start with the backstory, just in case you don't know where this came from, and then we'll go on into the recipe. You might notice I also include a few clips that I thought might be germane to this whole nuts also discussion. I went to the house. I got a gift, another gift. <laughs> It's like a salsa. It's spicy. It has a whole bunch of seeds in it. It's like a seed salsa. <laughs> it's really good on crackers. It's healthy. Um, no, it wasn't a mansion. It was just renting someone's house. That's all it was. And I cannot believe that... <laughs> As I was talking on three-way with my friends, like the 90s, I know, <laughs> I freaking get the email and text. The deposit was only 500 bucks. <laughs> so if I completely get scammed, I only get scammed out of, because I just sent, okay, listen, tonight, I went to see the house. Every, it took like an hour I'm like everything, but oh, it was like I, I ate the salsa. I ate the nut salsa. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, if I made it up, how. Where did I get this nut salsa from? Like, <laughs> I just went and got it from where? It's literally their Tupperware thing, their glassware. I didn't give that back, but. She got that salsa with her aunt at the farmer's market. At the 54-54 minute mark on that video, the company is La Chula SS, the exact salsa. So let's take a look at that clip that Miss T is talking about. Bye. Yeah, I was going to say it looks similar, yeah. You got it in extra chili and some almonds. It's different, eh, Chantal? Yeah, cool. They call this salsa. It's a different type of salsa. Yeah, oh, nice. Cranberry. I've got samples of all of them. Like, cool. First, I'd like to thank Miss T for bringing this video to our attention. What a great find. I'd also want to share the Instagram page for this company. It's called La Chula Spices and Sauces. Now, this company is located in Ottawa. They are actually a physical store that you can go to. And guess what? They sell authentic Mexican salsas, one of which is called the almond salsa, the nut salsa. And when you look at pictures of this salsa, it looks very similar to the salsa that Foodie Beauty showed us a couple days ago. Here's a comparison, a side-by-side, -side. very similar to the salsa that Foodie Beauty showed us in her car the other day. The salsa, she claims, comes from the owners of the house that she was going to rent it's just, is this a coincidence or are things now not adding up? We need a nut salsa emoji. I'm going to make one. It's still in the car. It just tastes like a bunch of spicy nuts. Like, it's just spicy. Cashew, sesame seed tasting. I don't know. Okay, so now that you know more than you ever wanted to about salsa matcha, Let's go ahead and try to make it. I found a recipe that I'll put in the description box that incorporated some ingredients that I already had at home. Let's see what you think. Oh, and instead of subjecting you to a whole bunch of chopping noises, which I know you guys hate, I included some clips that I thought you might find interesting. I like when Chantal drags people who are nicer because I don't like fake niceness. I don't like it. I'm not saying I never lie. No, I rarely do now, especially now. I'm trying to be very honest. But no, I'm not a huge liar like people think. Have I lied about my feelings, I guess, towards Natter? Maybe. Because I get attacked. If I come on here and say, I love Natter. 
You're going to be like, oh, you're fucking pathetic. I don't want to hear it. <sighs> you lie and then come back to admit that you lied. About what? Things that don't matter, McGuns. Things I lie about? Like what? Like having, like, yeah. Okay, I lied about sneaking around and seeing that a few times. It, does that really fucker? Does it really matter? <clears throat> yes, I did, Beezer Juice. <laughs> when I said Book of Flight, I didn't mean Gat, no. <laughs> this is Montreal. It's a step up. <laughs> a lying liar that lies. <laughs> what? No, I'm just laughing because you think I'm a liar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's have a virtual wedding shower. I want to go live for certain events for sure. I can't lemon bees <laughs> original. We know you girl. I'm breaking character. Hold on. Poor peeps. Anyway, so I'm a married woman now, so I think it's just inappropriate. Well, I'm not married. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm trying. Here's the thing. You guys are going to hear me like contradicting myself a lot because I'm purposely trying to be vague so that I can keep some of my privacy. It is hard to do that especially from where I come from and like my past of being so open but I'm trying my best so all the tinfoil beret theories aside Chantal did get something right salsa matcha is delicious I like how versatile it is and how you can pretty much use whatever kinds of nuts you have on hand I have a feeling that it'll just get better over time, as the flavors continue to melt. I made a quick quesadilla to give it a try, and it really was very, very yummy. By adjusting the types of peppers you use, you can make it from mild to medium to super hot. With just guajillo peppers and a few red chili pepper flakes, mine turned out to be just about medium. One of the suggested uses from the recipe was to use it as a topping for a mixed bowl, like the kind you get at Chipotle. The predominant flavors are the garlic and shallot, and it's earthy and smoky, so I could see how it would be good with some grilled meat or chicken. As you can see, I liked it so much that I called down for Mr. Cat Voice to give it a try. He likes it too, but thought that using a little spoon to put it on is a little bit fussy. However you serve it, salsa matcha is definitely a keeper. You should give this a try. Once made, it should keep for three to four weeks in the fridge. I'm not sure how long it'll last in the Kia. As for me, I can't wait to experiment with this again. Hey, it might even make a good recipe for ALR. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. If you try to make this or what you thought of this video, I'd love to hear from you. <laughs>